All right, guys, welcome to the channel. AJ here, Kia ora. And g'day, mate, if you're a bloody Australian. Good old Australia. I'm a Kiwi, and I call Australia home. I come here for the opportunity, and uh, bigger country, more things to accomplish, I guess. Today, guys, I'm doing one of my specialties. It's a hungi in a keg. With all the restrictions and stuff here, you can't do fires in your backyard. Although sometimes I sneak a little one here and there if I'm going to rub some bloody sticks together or do some archery, whatever. You know, fire arrows, whatever it might be, I'll have a crack. I'm not afraid to do so as well. Today's special ingredients, guys, is this here. It's the manuka wood. Okay, the manuka wood to do the job. So I put it into here. Obviously, it's a little bit easier to get it out. Now, the thing is, is don't overkill the flavour. So I'll put a little bit in. We've already got bloody flies about here. How about that? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay down the baskets. It's all about preparation, okay? So uh, I prefer, this is just a simple one. These here, the good old cabbage leaves. Put them in. And what this does here, it just keeps the flavor. Everything stops everything from dripping down and also looks kind of cool. And it's all about uh, presentation, they say, right? So that's our first uh, basket down. And what I'm gonna do, I've got some uh, meat chops here. Got some uh, wings, bro. Yeah. Okay. Some meats. Put these in here. Alrighty. There you go. Sort of evenly put them around, like so. See that there? Then I'll get the next one here. It's always good to have a rubbish bin about there. Fantastic. So, the next one guys, I'm going to uh, put in the chicken, get my other basket ready for the veggies. Simple one, just put them up and around, like so. Some wings, wing dings, there you go, little fellas. Alright, get that every now and again. There's always one, isn't there? They say that there's always bloody one. Doesn't matter who you are, there's always one. All right, we got that, the next one. What I'm gonna do now is prepare the next basket. Here. Same, same. Got to flare it down. Like so. All right, be good for the dog. Put that over there, give it a wash. Should be all right. Okay, so the next one, guys. Vegetables. Put that there. Okay, got some corn. Do a bit of juggling. Why wouldn't you? There you go, same baby here. Put them there, so get the basket nice and uh, good. A few organic carrots, bloody little beauties. All right, that there, want some cabbage. We'll uh, put that in the mix as well. We can just, uh, I'll cut it up into a few different a few chunks. All right, there you go. On the outside. Buffalo girl go around the outside. All right, there you go, guys. So uh, it's all starting to take shape. Uh, yeah, might as well put this one in as well. Why not? It's there, it's ready. Heaps of cabbage. Wrap some up in the uh, vegetables as well. Make it cook. All the juices go through the meat. There you go. Okay, it's time now to get a fire going on. We all know about fires, and uh, as you know, I like fires, I'm a bit of a specialty. Uh, I'm a fire breather, eater, as well as a fire maker. So now, we're gonna make our own fire. Obviously there's a few different methods. People uh, use the common, a lighter, of course. Makes life easier for me. Why would you? This is a simple method, just the good old knife and flint. It's a nice knife, this one here is a hunting knife. See that? Made in Italy. 
nice. Uh, there you go. So we got that on. All right, put them there like that. Bring up the gas a bit. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just put this gas over the gas ring. It's the keg. Okay, like so. Now, the thing is, is you just don't rush this kind of uh, process. You take your time, put some water in, a little bit of water, and it's about smoking and steaming at the same time. I'm going to boil the water, then I'm going to put in some of these bad boys, the good old Manuka wood chips. This is the key, and the key is not to overdo it. So I'll, I'll just put a few here, we'll get a bloody bit of smoke going on. Bob Marley would like it about now. Smoking. Alright, so... Sprinkle some of those bad boys in. people used to uh, get this from volcanoes and put it into the real hot water to cook their food so once again we bring it to boil the smell is amazing just from that wood okay so we're gonna let it build up a bit more and then it's time to place the baskets always have your meat one first all right so uh, there you go when we stack it make sure it's even then the vegetables, yummy, yummy, yeah, right. This one down here. It's like a bloody, feels like I'm a David Copperfield. About to put the, uh, the magic reveal down, and then boom, how comes a beautiful bloody woman, how about that? Well, you're all beautiful. All right, so just make sure it's, uh, it's level, it's sort of not even, but we'll work with that. I think all right. There you go. Move it a bit. All right, so basically what it's gonna do now is pressurize. Once I put that little bloody lid in there, there you go. All right, to give it some more breathing power, I'll lift this up soon. At the moment, it's gonna pressurize like a bloody volcano, and then soon, smoke will come out of here. Okay, so uh, what I'll do is I'll put a rag on that to keep it in, and to just keep slowly the cooking process, or the process, bro, on the hungry keg. Okay. So four hours later, everything's changed. I've changed. The bloody weather's changed. It's gone to bloody, probably gonna rain or something, I don't know. But anyway, look at that, the wind, it's, it's blowing a bloody gale. So uh, we're just checking up on here. And everything's the way it should be, right? So uh, let's have a look here. Look at that. Nice brown from the wood. Check that out. Wow, so good. There you go. And uh, let's have a look at the leaf here. go it's the way you want it it looks good smells good will be good 
So uh, I've got a few people here today, so we're going to, um, we're going to dish them up a beautiful kite and uh, see what they think about the kite and the Australian New Zealand hunger. Put it on here. Good thing is there's not a lot of dishes either. No pots and pans and all the rest of it. It's just like, look at that, it's just like falling off. Perfect, exactly the way you want it. So uh, we'll just lay this out here. Like so, lamb chops are looking good, looking good, smelling good. It's got to be good, it's all good. There you go. There. Done a good job. Yeah, yeah, go. Yeah, right, this one down now. Vegetables. Beautiful uh, sweet corn. Look at that. That's the way you want it. Cabbage. What you Potatoes. Corn. Pumpkin. Suckle again. Where it wants to be. Look at this. Karen, there we go. Now, ready to be eaten. Okay, taking forever. Here we go. Let's just bring that on. So there's just so much food. There you go. Give you a bit of a close up on how it should be. There you go. Have a smell. Oh, oh. Swing it around. You guys are now going to be. Show them that. It's not every day you get a honey, is it? So, uh, have a smell. <laughs> have a smell of that. Yeah, smell that. The earthly, woody feeling from the wood. Here we go. Smell that one. Look at that. And the thing about it, it's so, it's so good. It's like bloody diet food. You could get bloody fruit and body fat by eating this because there's no fat cooked in there, right? So, there you go. Thank you. Right, right, right. Thank you. There we go. So, it's time to have a pie. Bring your plates up right. and enjoy a cup of tea. There you go. Tastes like. Oh, yeah, like what? What's the flavour? Like a sweet, sweet a honey, smoky flavour. Oh my god,
Going too fast to prepare for this Tripping in the world could be dangerous Everybody sucking at his vulturous Negative, nepotist Everybody waiting for the fall of man Everybody praying for the end of times Everybody hoping they could be the one I was born to run, I was born for this Whip, whip, roll me like a racehorse Hold me like a 